Welcome to sputum collection training video for applicants. Sputum is mucus or phlegm coughed up from your lungs. Sputum samples are used to diagnose active tuberculosis, TB, and to monitor the effectiveness of TB treatment. Once the panel physician notifies you that sputum specimens are required, you must report for testing as soon as possible. This video will explain the process of sputum collection. By the end, you should be more familiar with 1. How to prepare for sputum collection 2. What not to do during sputum collection 3. The proper way to collect a sputum specimen The panel physician will need three specimens consisting of 5 to 10 milliliters each. They must be collected at least 24 hours apart, preferably on consecutive working days. It is important not to brush your teeth, use mouthwash, smoke, or eat anything in the morning prior to sputum collection. Upon arrival, you'll go through a verification process utilizing photo identification. Be sure to ask what is required before you come. When not wearing a mask, you'll be asked to cover your mouth with a tissue at all times as a safety measure before and after the sputum collection. You will then be escorted to an area where you must rinse your mouth with purified or distilled water before providing a sputum specimen. After rinsing, you will be directed to the sputum collection area, usually outside or in a negative pressure booth with the door shut where the air flows out of the room. The technician will hand you the specimen container and give you instructions to follow. They may start with what not to do, such as Do not clear the nasal passage. Do not cough from the throat. Do not cough from the chest. Then the proper way to collect a sputum specimen. Sit upright and back straight. Shoulders relaxed. One hand should be over your mouth using the mask or tissue provided. You can place the other hand over your stomach. Take a few deep breaths while pressing your hand lightly on your stomach. When it's time to cough, you should be inhaling so deeply that you feel it in your stomach area. Then cough from deep in the stomach. It often requires multiple coughs to obtain a proper sputum collection. As you cough from the stomach, you'll bring the sputum up from your lungs and into your mouth. Hold the sputum in your mouth. Open the specimen container, then remove the tissue from the mouth only to release the sputum into the specimen container. Then place the top back on the specimen container and tighten it securely. Cover your mouth again with the mask or tissue. Give the specimen container to the technician. The technician will hold the specimen up into the light, inspect the container to identify if they have a proper collection. The technician checks for sputum coming from the bottom of the lungs, looking for small pieces of sputum in the specimen. The technician will tell you when you have coughed enough to produce a specimen. If there is only saliva in the container, then you must come back next day for another attempt at collecting sputum. If you're having difficulty producing a specimen, a technician may assist with percussions by patting you on the back. When the technician indicates you have given a good specimen, they will take it to the laboratory for testing. You will then be instructed by the technician to wash your hands. In summary, you should now be familiar with the process of sputum collection. 1. How to prepare for sputum collection. 2. What not to do during sputum collection. 3. The proper way to collect a sputum specimen.